On this episode, we're going to talk about disability and entrepreneurship. But before we jump in, please subscribe and share. And don't forget to join our private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. And if you'd like to see more from One Leg Up Productions, please support us at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Hi, welcome to Chair Chats, the lifestyle talk show with a disability twist. I'm your host, Pauline Victoria. Today, we're going to talk with the CEO of Collaboration Diva and the founder of the growing Facebook group, Disabled Business Owners, Therese Westmoreland, about her journey from employment to entrepreneurship. Hi, Therese. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Um, so I want to just start out at the beginning. I would like for you to tell us a little bit about your journey from, uh, through employment and how that led you to entrepreneurship and what you do now. Well, um, when I go to college, I started looking for a job so I can found because when I was high, because I had disability. So I started in network marketing, and then in network marketing, I went to work assistant, and that's when I started my company, and then from there, it's been just going up. Okay. So as the CEO of Collaboration Diva, what services do you provide? Uh, I do data entry. I maintain, uh, maintain Facebook groups. I schedule, I schedule posts for people. I inbox clients and customers. And that's basically it for right now. Okay, so you handle their administrative, you handle yeah. clients, admit your clients' administrative duties. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, so would you say you're very, you're likened to like a virtual assistant? Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. So all of your work is done on computers then? Yes. <laughs> yeah, online, yeah. Yes. Thank God for technology. I would say, <laughs> I would say we were born in, at the, the best time to be born with a disability because technology does open up so much for us, including a way for us to um, be our own boss. Uh, and, yeah. uh, you know, even with the show, I'm able to put on this show as the founder of One Leg Up Productions and create a, uh, a video, ep video episodes of things that I feel would be relevant to the disability community. And I really do feel like entrepreneurship is a viable option for people with disabilities because I don't know about you, Therese, but for me, my experience um, after college, I did try to go toward traditional employment. I never, I never thought about entrepreneurship as an option. So <laughs> I did try um, traditional employment and was eventually successful, but it took a lot of um, falling down and getting back up. Yes. Realizing that there was um, almost a silent discrimination among, for people with disabilities trying to get into traditional employment. And um, so, yeah, I don't know if that was your experience in trying for a traditional yes. employment. I want to interview. I never got hot for position. Okay. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, it's so, and you feel like you're so um, just as equal, if not better in competition, in with, with the competition in terms of yeah. 
qualified candidates. So it, it can be disheartening. So I really do love that technology offers people with disabilities the option for entrepreneurship um, in one vein. Um, I wanted to ask you also about the Facebook group, the disabled business owners. It's growing. Um, I came across it. I feel like there's always some great um, posts on there. Um, I think what you did is brilliant. Um, and I, you know, it inspired me. And I'm like, oh, maybe I will actually feature some disabled entrepreneurs on the show of what they're doing so we can support each other. Um, so disabled business owners, Facebook group, um, if someone were to join, what can they expect from joining that group? Well, if they were to join the group, they'll find out that many, that many, there are many entrepreneurs around the world, actually. But most of those people come from Asia and Africa. In California and Texas, so there is a variety of people. In yes, that group. yeah, and you are okay with people posting, um, like, uh, like, not sales page, but kind of like letting people know about what they do. Are you okay with that on the group? Yes, I'm fine with that. They can do that. That's not. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you're an entrepreneur, or even if you're just thinking about being an entrepreneur, um, I would highly suggest going to um, and joining the Facebook group called Disabled Business Owners. Um, I found some really interesting information. I've seen some videos, <laughs> trees has done, all sorts of stuff. And you know, I feel like, um, I feel like being an entrepreneur, whether you have a disability or not, is really a mindset thing. And I know exactly. on your Facebook group, you've talked about vision boards, um, just kind of getting in the right mindset. Um, and that is so important. And actually, I, I would think that is the very first step in um, going on the entrepreneurial journey. Um, so... What, um, in your experience, uh, Therese, what do you feel is the most important quality in an entrepreneur? Having patience. Having patience. Yeah. Because nothing good overnight. Right. It is not going to happen overnight. <laughs> no. I've been doing this a year. It hasn't happened in a year. <laughs> <laughs> But I, you know, it, it, yeah, I feel like that's, that's super important, important because it can get discouraging. Um, yeah, okay. You have this dream and you have this belief in something that your business can provide people. Um, and so, and if it doesn't happen overnight or even in a year or two, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then <laughs> can't give up, right? But I feel like disabled people are not, um, we don't shy behind giving up, right? Like we we are people that stick to things and yes. of any of any quality, um, we, that is something that I think that we can all relate to is not giving up because if we give up, oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about where my life would be if I just gave up. I know, me either. Yeah. So, um, on the other side of, um, of what the most important quality is, is what do you think is the most challenge, the number one challenge of being an entrepreneur? Trying to get people to see what you do. And here they are willing to work with you. Okay. So like marketing it marketing your yeah, marketing yeah yeah i feel like marketing is a big challenge for me too um and giving people that experience of what working with you would be like yeah you know, so oftentimes i'm doing things for free I'm like just i'll give it to you for free so you can experience what it's like to work with me <laughs> <laughs> and what you're gonna get from me but um yeah so yeah that's that's a huge challenge i would i would definitely agree as a fellow entrepreneur um, and what do you think is the biggest benefit for specifically people with disabilities in owning their own business? 
the time. time. We don't have to break out and like, that's the problem. You don't have to worry about taking off the day. Well, I have to, I have to take off the day. I can just take off the day without even. So you can take yeah. off when you need to take off. You yeah. Can work when you can work. Yeah. The flexibility. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. would agree with that. Yes, I like that. Although I'm not going to sugarcoat it, being an entrepreneur is hard work. Like yeah. you <laughs> have to be disciplined, have yeah. self discipline. Um, and I think that is a huge, um, so like if you're someone that get, gets distracted easily, like squirrel, um, <laughs> or, you know, you just want to watch Netflix all day, maybe on yeah, most of the time, but sometimes I do get distracted. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> we all need our downtime, but owning our own yeah. business does require us to, um, us to actually put time and effort in to make it work yes yes and and but that's the great thing right having your own business you work it in the beginning so then it can work for you exactly. um, hopefully that's how that's the plan <laughs> anyway <laughs> but you know how as plans plans go <laughs> yes um is there anything else that you wanted to um let people know about entrepreneurship or about your services Maybe there, you know, we could support Therese, um and Collaboration Diva if you offer virtual assistant services. You know, is there anything you'd like to let people know? Um, well, if you're not going to, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, then you better do something that you like to do. And, and that, that you have to do. Because if you have to do it, you're not going to do it. Um, <laughs> so if you want to be an entrepreneur, do it because you want to, not because you have to. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. I, I, I think that's actually really helpful. I mean, this is probably one of my shorter interviews. And yet I feel like it is one of the um most informative interviews i've ever done so you can make things short and sweet and still have a huge impact i want to hear from anybody that's watching this i'd love for you to engage with us and if you are a business owner um i would encourage you to join the facebook group that tree started called disabled business owners and i'd love to hear from you what do you do um, what business services or um, products do you provide as a business owner? And if you're even just interested in becoming an entrepreneur, what are what is something that you're interested in providing, contributing to the world? Because um, that's what businesses do. We just contribute um, something that we feel people would benefit from. So I'd love to hear what are some of your ideas of products or services that you'd love to provide as an entrepreneur. Um, Therese, I want to thank you so much for being on Chair Chats and sharing your journey. Um, like I said, I think we're proof that entrepreneurship is a viable option for people with disabilities. So I want to thank you for joining us and sharing yeah. Um, your insights. It's good to hear from others um, and connect with other you know, entrepreneurs who are also disabled. Um, I want to also remind you, the viewer, if you're watching this, to please subscribe and share and to join our Facebook group called Victoriously Living, where we share inspiration and information to help you live a victorious life. And if you'd like to see more from One Leg Up Productions, please support us at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Thank you so much and be blessed.